Hello friends, welcome to the TYBSC IT Semester 5 Internet of Things Practicals. Today's practical is interfacing Raspberry Pi with RFID that is radio frequency identification. Here are the project requirements. We need Raspberry Pi microcontroller. We need SD card into it. We need a USB power supply. We need RFID reader whose name is RC522. We also need RFID tags. We need jumper wires. We need breadboard and monitor which are optional. Here are the steps. These are actually the commands that you will be executing at command prompt of Raspberry Pi. Here are the commands and their use or their importance to execute them in command prompt. Like we need a Raspi config command to enable this SPI. Uh, after doing that, we need to reboot the system. We need to check whether the SPI dependencies is listed. Then we need to upgrade. Uh, the system then we need to install these library files spd sorry spidev and mfrc522 so these are some dependencies that we need to execute here are the programs we require two separate programs one program is just to write on rfid tag and another is for reading from the rfid tag so to write and to read, we need two separate programs saved in a Python script. This is how your Python user interface uh, or Python ID will look like when you are going to enter or write your code into the Python ID. This is the code for writing the data onto the RFID tag. And this is the code to read from the RFID tag. This is these are the outputs. So when you execute write code, you it will first prompt you to write something. Then it will prompt you to place your tag onto the RFID sensor. Then once the tag is uh, tag will be on the sensor, it will write the data and it will give you message that the data has been returned uh, to the tag. And then if you want to read the contained from the RFID tag, then you'll have to execute the reader or you have to execute the read program. And if your tag is already placed on RFID sensor, it will read the content that we have written to that tag. This is what the circuit assembly. Uh, so in circuit assembly, you see the RFID sensor comes with eight pins. Those pins are also mentioned like the first pin is for 3.3 volt positive voltage. Then the next is RST. Then the next is the ground pin. There are also the pins from this side like SDA, SCK, MOSI, MOSI, MISO. These, are, these pin have the specific meanings. You can find them uh, also on internet. So and how to connect those pins? The pin specifications are also given uh, in program. We are using board mode. So according to the physical pin specification, we are going to connect our this RFID sensor to the pins of Raspberry Pi. So you see the connections. I'm also going to demonstrate it with a video. So this is how your RFID read and RFID write program are to be conducted you see gpio read all command will give you all these pin specifications so these are the physical pin specification if we are using this board mode we are dealing with the physical pin specification only so this pin out will help you to find out which pins are to be connected to the rfid sensor so let us see how this program is to be executed and prior to that I'll also show you how the circuit is to be set up. So let us see how to set up a circuit for Raspberry Pi and RFID interfacing. So first of all we need a Raspberry Pi microcontroller then we need this RFID sensor then we need these RFID tags these are the tags onto which we can write the data and then we can read the content from them using this RFID sensor. 
we need jumper wires and we need a breadboard using breadboard is optional if you are using breadboard and this rfid sensor if you are going to connect these pins onto the breadboard you need these type of jumper wires these are female to male jumper wires so today i am going to use these pins and um, uh, and the pins of raspberry pi so today i will be showing you how this female to female jumper wires can be used to connect any component to the raspberry pi pins so let us start with it so let us first see uh, what are the pin specification of this rfid sensor so first pin you see it's the 3.3 volt positive uh, volt or uh, positive uh, or power supply that you are going to give to this component then there is next pin that is rst then the next pin is uh, ground pin then the next pin is irq this is the only pin irq is the pin that we are not going to use uh, then from this side it is sda then the next is sck then the next is mosi pin then the next is miso pin so these pins we are going to use we are going to connect um, one end of the jumper wire to this pins and then another end we will insert into this raspberry pi pins so according to the pin specification we will be using uh, or we will be inserting these pins to the raspberry pi so let us see how this rfid sensor is to be connected to the pins of raspberry pi so i'll start with this positive pin so the very first pin is the 3.3 volt pin so i'll be connecting this plus 3.3 uh, volt to the first pin then i will start from this side so this is the sda pin which is to be inserted in 24th pin of the raspberry pi so how to count is this was the first pin then this is the second so fourth sixth eighth then tenth then 12th 14th 16th 18th 20th 22nd and 24th so this is the 24th pin so sda pin is inserted into the 24th pin then this is the sck that is clock pin that is to go into the 23rd so here is the 23rd pin then the next pin is mosi which is here in yellow color for me so this mosi pin should go into the 19th so since this was the 23rd pin that means this is the 21st pin and this is the 19th pin so here i'll go for the 19th pin then the next pin is miso which is to go which is to go into the 21st pin so 19th and 23 pins are already there so here it goes for the 21st pin then the ground pin i am using sixth pin of raspberry pi so sixth pin i have connected this ground pin and then last pin which is remaining is rst so this rst pin is going into the 22nd so since this was 24th this is 22nd pin so this is how the connections are to be made you see the pin specification of uh, rfid sensor and then this these pins are inserted according to the pin specification given so you can count at your convenience and you can insert those into this raspberry pi pins remember when you are inserting these pins into the raspberry pi it should not be powered on see I, yet i have not provided power to this raspberry pi so it is safe to deal with the raspberry pi pins when it is not powered on but once you are going to power on this raspberry pi you should not touch the raspberry pi pins with bare hand even you should not touch any component which is connected in a circuit here i need the vnc viewer to connect my raspberry pi with laptop screen before that i need to know what is the ip address of my raspberry pi so i will use advanced ip scanner advanced ip scanner will scan different devices which are connected with ip address to the LAN network which I am using so 
currently i am using a lan network on which there are some devices connected so this is the rt lan wi-fi lan that i am using to which my raspberry pi is also connected so the ip address of my raspberry pi is this 192.168.43.165 so here i need a vnc viewer in vnc viewer i need to connect this raspberry pi using new connection then here i will write 192.168.43.165 and here I can give any identifier. So uh, any friendly identifier you can write. So here I'm writing a name. So this is what the access point that we have created. Just double click on it. And then it will ask you for username and password. So by default username is pi and the password is raspberry in small letters so type it so you see here my raspberry pi is also connected to the same lan network so that is the wi-fi that i am using to connect my laptop to the network as well as the raspberry pi to the network so here the raspberry pi screen is there on my laptop screen so there are some commands that you need to execute on command prompt of raspberry pi you can copy those commands and paste these commands here so these commands will be executed the first is configuration of SPI then you have to reboot to take effect of that SPI configuration so if this command will reboot the Raspberry Pi it will take some time to reboot then thereafter the next command that you need to use is uh, you have to check through ls mode whether this file exists then the next command is about upgrading and updating your raspberry pi this takes some time to execute next we need to install the libraries which are required to set up the rfid sensor so here is the command you just need to copy paste them you will get this on internet also so these are few library files and uh, the dependencies that you need to execute on the command prompt of raspberry pi microcontroller so once you have executed all these commands then you can go to the python id to write a new program or you can execute the pre-existing programs so here I will be showing you how the programs are to be executed. So since I have already written the program, I am going to open them through this open menu. And this is what RFID program that I have written to write on the RFID tag. So if I am going to execute this program, this program will write the data that I am entering here. So suppose here I am I want to write RFID demo program. Now if I press enter it will ask me to place my RFID tag onto the RFID. So when I placing the RFID tag on RFID sensor it shows me that content is written now the next is now I want to read whatever content that I have written uh, to this now I want to read it from the RFID tag so for the same I am uh, for to demonstrate the same I am showing you the read program of this RFID so this is my program for reading the RFID tag content so if I'm going to click on run now it is waiting for me to place the RFID tag on my RFID sensor so here I am putting my RFID tag on a sensor and you see whatever the content that we have just inputted 
it is right it is reading the content and it is displaying that content so i will be showing you this demonstration also with the video and how i am going to place the tags on rfid sensor that also will be demonstrated in terms of video so here i'm clicking on run module of a write program you see it is prompting us to write some data onto the rfid tag so whichever data we are writing there that will be written to this rfid tag you just need to place the rfid tag on the rfid sensor so here i am demonstrating you two types of rfid tags on which data can be written the same tags i will be using to read the content from this rfid tags so you can use such tags to create student ids or employee ids and then you can use them to recognize and to allow them entry into the organization so here i am executing the program of read so the same tags which we have used to write the data now they are being used for reading purpose so you see the same data which we have written to them is being read by this rfid sensor so this is how rfid interfacing with the raspberry pi program can be demonstrated thank you for watching this video